Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have the Samsung Galaxy Core 2 with me and in this video we're going to look at the processor that is used. It is very funny that Samsung did not specify which uh, model of processor is being used. They just said that it's a 1.2 GHz quad-core processor but not the make or which, uh, which architecture it's using. And I was actually pretty surprised uh, when I got the results and I'm actually pretty disappointed. In fact, it was difficult to locate which processor it was. For example, this is the CPU Z app. And as you can see, it says it runs on the ARM Cortex A7 architecture clocked at 1.2 gigahertz. That's a quad core processor. And the GPU, that is the graphic processor is Mali 400. That's fine, but uh, the branding of the processor is not there. Clearly it's not made by Qualcomm and Snapdragon. And also it's not the Samsung's own Exynos one. Uh, and if you look at the board, it says SC7735S. So that means it's not even a MediaTek or a Broadcom based processor. So it was a pretty uh, surprising and it took me some time to figure out again one more thing to notice that look at the sensors we have very less sensors on this device so samsung uh, did skimp on the sensors also we don't even have the proximity sensor on this device forget the compass etc uh, so coming back to uh, the what do you say the um, cpu make uh, fortunately antutu could detect it and let me actually show you and if you see antutu says that it is the all winner and I'm really uh, disappointed at this because all winner is not used by tar one brands. It's just used by some cheap, uh, what do you say, Chinese manufacturers. So I'm really disappointed with Samsung that they haven't used quality processor on this. Uh, they have just used this all winner uh, chipset. Uh, I did notice I didn't do extensive testing yet with this phone, but even when you unlock the phone, etc., as you can see, it does take quite a while. So animations are a bit slow on this device. Now, I also ran some benchmarks with this one. So I'll just show you that for the sake of it. And uh, I actually saved those benchmarks. So I'll just show you. Uh, this is Antutu. And on Antutu, we got a score of 13,230. And I also ran the Quadrant. And here, we got a score of 3,338. I also ran uh, this Nina Mark. Too, which is not pretty relevant these days because it's pretty old and here i got a good results of 59.5 fps but just do notice the screen quality again in terms of the screen quality also samsung skimmed it and i have to say this is one of the worst panel that i've seen on a samsung device so needless to say i'm pretty disappointed uh, with this de device because many of the users when they uh, buy a phone from samsung they do expect that samsung will use quality parts but uh, this is not the case with the Samsung Galaxy Core 2. Uh, I don't know if you guys would like uh, that I do a gaming review on this or not. Do let me know in the comment section. Again, you can't even install very heavy games on this because of the internal storage. That is also pretty low. Out of the box, you just get 2 gigs. I added a SD card, but again, not all apps can be moved on that. And as you can see, out of that 2 gigs, after uh, just updating all the Google apps, etc. And just installing that 4 benchmarks, I just have 1.5 GB of space left. So again, that's it for now for this uh, quick look at the uh, CPU and the chipset used on the Samsung Galaxy Core. Thank you. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.